Upping the news tonight, an early morning standoff came to an end after eight hours of police negotiations. WVUA's Chelsea Barton was on the scene of the incident this morning. She joins us now live from the studio with more. Chelsea. Philip, it happened on Fifth Avenue East in Tuscaloosa at Brookstone Apartments. Police responded to a report that shots had been fired into an upstairs apartment from the apartment beneath it. Authorities made contact with a 67 year old man in the first floor apartment who was armed with the shotgun. He refused to come out of his home and barricaded himself inside. A friend of his we spoke with says this behavior isn't normal. Uh, he's one of a kind, I tell you that. <laughs> one of a kind. Um, he's kind of like an uncle to me. You know, I'm just speechless. I don't know what to think. You know, that, that um, he's just a friend of mine and I got kind of concerned about him. Uh, but nothing I can do for him. Officers tell us they did not make verbal contact with the suspect until after daylight. The standoff began just after 1 a.m. After eight hours of negotiating, the suspect finally surrendered. I think that that he realized, you know, that this was best for him to try to get help and to, to be seen. Family members of the suspect waited outside the apartment, terrified of what could happen. We spoke with the suspect's nephew, who tells us he applauds authorities for the way this situation was handled. They did an outstanding job. Uh, they wanted to use uh, non-lethal methods as much as possible to uh, bring this to a peaceful solution, and that they did. During negotiations, the suspect asked to speak with former Tuscaloosa Police Chief Ken Swindle, who he knew from many years before. He played a huge, huge part in this. Uh, that relationship that Chief Swindle has established with him, you know, 30 years ago, uh, came to play in, in this situation. Lieutenant Kip Hart with Tuscaloosa County Metro Homicide Unit tells us the suspect fired additional shots while officers were on the scene, but no one was injured. Everybody's safety that's outside and inside the areas is paramount, so it's it's it came to a good resolution. Now it's unclear if the suspect is mentally stable. He was taken to DCH to undergo evaluation. Live in the studio this evening, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA News. All right, now thanks a lot, Chelsea.